In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to use the Dimension tool. The Dimension tool belongs to the Construction toolbar, and you can turn that on under View, Toolbars, and Construction. So here we have a 2D floor plan, uh, just lines basically built up to create a floor plan. Um, and we've got some 3D furniture put in place to represent the, um, the furniture. So what I want to do is I need to, to even before starting dimensioning, um, it's a good idea to put your view in a 2D view. Um, so as you can see, we've got perspective turned on. And so if I was to go to a top view, um, it doesn't quite look right. It would look funny when you were showing off a plan. So what you need to do is go to camera, turn off the perspective, and then you've got a completely flat 2D plan. And you see now how the 3D furniture looks 2D. Uh, just quite a good little tip. Um, so we put in a completely flat view. Um, then we need to activate the dimension tool. And then we can start the dimension. So I'm going to click there, click on the other endpoint, then go upwards. Then we need to um, click on this line here and it will bring it up. And then zoom in here, click there, click there to the endpoints. 90, click there in between the walls. You may need to zoom in nice and close to get the right endpoint. 1700, it's good. Um, and then click there there. Oops, forgot my 90. It's not, not the end of the world. We can just come back in here and go and add that 90 millimeters in. Um, we'll just do this whole wall and then I'll show you what else to do with the dimension tool. Yep. And then we can do an overall. So we'll go right over top. Okay. So as you can see here, we, uh, the dimensions, um, the text size always stays the same no matter how how far away you are. Um, it tries to keep keep that visually um, displayable. Um, but in certain cases, you can see the 90 gets lost by the arrows and stuff. So let's look at how we can modify those dimensions. Um, if you go to the window menu, then go to model info. Um, you can also access model info off the principal toolbar. Um, so if I drag this toolbar off, oh sorry, the standard toolbar, uh, you can see model info at the end there. We're going to click on that. Okay, so next we're going to click on the dimensions menu. And you can see that the text is to Homer and 12 points. So you might want to go into the fonts and you might want to change that to just be a bit smaller because graphically you don't need it so large. Um, and you can also change the font. Um, we use uh, a font called Archi Architext. Um, and it's just quite an, a cool architectural looking text. Then what we can do is we can change the leader lines so we can choose them to be a slash which is a little bit more architectural as well. Um, then we can align uh, the dimensions um, above, so they're sitting above the dimensions and um, then all we need to do is select all dimensions within the, the scene and then we can um, click on update selected dimensions and that will now change change all the dimensions in the screen um, and they're definitely looking a little bit easier to see. Um, another thing you can do as well is you can turn off the millimeters uh, so under units um, we can click on, we can untick display unit format um, and that will just turn that back just down to uh, normal digits so you don't actually have to see those those millimeters anymore. So you can see there that we can just quickly uh, knock up some dimensions just to show off your plan. Um, 
it's it's quite quite handy if that's all you need it for but if you want to do more accurate um, dimensioning with SketchUp I would recommend Layout to do this um, but this is really good for just kind of like 3D dimensions uh, so for example let's say we had a uh, just a box over here and we push pull up that box you can do dimensioning um, 3D dimensioning basically where we quickly just take off a few dimensions um, and just show that off so the, these two dimensions for example we could go back into model info um, go to dimensions and we might align that to screen so that they look at us whenever we we move move around and we can just update the selected dimensions so you know in every direction those dimensions look like they're uh, visually appealing and um, easy to read